Namaste everyone, welcome to TechGrow. I am JP Amit and I have been discussing PCI Express in last two videos and uh, we will go ahead and discuss the different generations of PCI Express in this video. Uh, there have been uh, six generations of PCI Express till now and 20, in 2025 we will be expecting generation 7. So PCI Express se pehle PCI and PCI XV the no protocols the aur usko improve karke PCI Express banaya gaya tha. And the only difference basically is that PCI and PCX were parallel protocols and uh, PCI Express is serial, serial uh, protocol. And uh, the speed have been improving. Uh, in PCI Gen 1, the speed was 2.5 GHz transfer per second. And in the next generation, it was 5 GT per second. And in Gen 3, it was 8 GT per second. That is GHz transfer per second. And Gen 4, 32. And in Gen 6, it's 64 giga transfer per second so the main problem our juniors face when we they read the study the speed of the pci they do not understand the difference between giga transfer and gb per seconds aap jab discuss karte ho ki bandwidth kya hai to log bolte gigabytes per second but in the pci spec it's written as giga transfers per second gt per second so let me explain what is this when you say giga transfers it means gigabits per second but uh, when you calculate the bandwidth you actually calculate the amount of data the required data being transmitted per second on a single lane so you are, you might be thinking there should not be any difference between gt and gb uh, because you are transmitting your data uh, maybe in bits or in bytes so only a, should, there should be a difference of uh, you divide the giga transfer per second by 8 you will get gb per second but it, this is not the case in pc express we have different encoding techniques you actually encode your data so that uh, your data is secure and uh, transmitted very efficiently so in different lessons we have different encoding techniques in Gen 1 and Gen 2, we had 8-bit uh, to 10-bit encoding. That means uh, for transmitting 8 bits of data, you might you need uh, 10 bits of data for the transmission. Similarly, for Gen 3, uh, the encoding technique was improved and uh, we had 128 to 130 bit trans uh, 130 bit encoding. For Gen 4, the same encoding as a, uh, same as Gen 3 was used. Uh, for Gen 5 also, 128 to 130 bit encoding is used and in Gen 4, we have 1 bit to 1 bit encoding. So, when you calculate the speed from giga transfers to uh, gigabytes per second, you have to consider this encoding technique also. Suppose uh, uh, you want to convert the giga transfers for Gen 1. The speed for Gen 1 was 2.5 giga transfer per second. For that, you have to consider, you have to multiply uh, by 8 upon 10 to convert 2.5 into 8 upon 10 and then again divide it by 8 for byte consideration after the calculation you will find uh, 0.25 gigabytes per second or 250 MB per second similarly if you calculate the speed for 5 uh, gen 2 it is 5 giga transfer per second and when you will uh, multiply it by 8 then divide it by 10 and again divide it by 8 for the byte consideration you will get a number of around uh, 500 MB per second and when you will move on to Gen 3 the encoding techniques is changed in this uh, the speed of for Gen 3 was 8 giga transfer per second and for converting it to the gigabytes per second you have to multiply it by 128 divided by 130 and then divided by 8 and you will uh, see a speed around I think uh, 1 GB per second 1 gigabytes per second it comes around 0 0.98 but we can say roughly around 1 gigabytes per second in this way for Gen 4 and Gen 5 also you have to multiply the uh, stated speed by 128 and then divide by 130 and then divide by 8 again so you can we will see uh, for every speed uh, the every generation the speed is doubling 
so for the gen 6 now we have the 64 giga transfer per second speed and in gen 7 we will be expecting a speed of 128 giga transfer per second now you are able to understand about wow, what different uh, generations of pci and the different speed calculations you will not uh, be uh, doubting how to calculate giga transfers to gigabytes per second so this is the doubt every junior uh, come across when they start reading the species specification in this video i have helped you in understanding how to uh, calculate giga transfers to gigabytes and different speeds of gen uh, pci generations in the next video we will discuss what is a lane and what is a link and uh, uh, how how the data tra is transmitted on the lens uh, for now bye bye and if you want to see more videos like this please like this video subscribe to my channel and comment in the comment section below if you want me to make videos on any other topic or any specific topic of pci or cxl okay thanks bye bye